Welcome kids to chapter four, section two. We're talking about reflections. And this one, I kind of want you to uh, think about visually. Don't get lost in the math, okay? We're talking about reflections like you looking in a mirror or actually probably how I am appearing to you via this video where everything is actually reflected. So uh, I believe this is my left hand, but it looks like my right hand to you. Okay, anyway, let's get started. Uh, you need to turn to page 182 and copy down the core concept at the top of the page. We are going to do numbers one through four in this video, and then there'll be another video for the shapes. All right, I actually got a head start, so you probably want to pause at some point and catch up with me because uh, numbers one through four all have to do with example one. Not a bad idea to read it. And you know what? The textbook online, you can watch an example video about that. So it's not just in the book. So I did copy down triangle ABC from example one. Uh, they said that the vertices were A at one, three, B at five, two, and C at two, one. And here we go. And I made the graph bigger than maybe I needed to. You know what? I didn't know going in and it's better to be safe than sorry. You can see I can continue it down here if I need to. All right. Now, uh, let's see. I already got four colors out here, but I wanted to get another color for the lines. Now, this might get messy. I'm going to have to start um, using more graphs, but we can always pause and make another one. Okay. First thing to set, uh, that we need to do is find the image after the reflection four and number one, x equals four. So we're going to have a reflection over this line. Okay, so you're going to draw it, right? X equals four. So it's a X equals, so it's extreme. You rock climb it. You can walk it because it's vertical and it's at four. All right. So, you know, I think that, to be honest, I'm going to start with B prime. So B is one box, one unit to the right of the line. So B prime is going to reflect one unit to the left. So B, B was at five, two. So B prime is at three, two. Okay, now A. A is three units to the left of our mirror, X equals four. So A prime is going to be three units to the right. One, two, three. Okay, so A prime is at seven, three. And then finally, C prime is two units to the left of the reflection. So C prime will be two units to the right. At six, one. Right. How does that look? Does that look like we, even though the mirror is cutting through our triangle ABC, doesn't it look like we spun the triangle around this axis of symmetry, around this mirror, line of reflection? So many vocab words we can use. All right, let's do number two. The line of reflection is x equals negative three, which looks like it's gonna be all the way over here. I think I'll be okay. All right, so negative one, negative two, and negative three, x equals extreme sports, extreme sports, rock climbing, vertical. Okie dokie, let's see, does our logic work? I'm actually gonna start with uh, A, new A prime, right? Let's do it in purple. So, okay, here's my line of reflection and A is one, two, three, four boxes, four units to the right. So A prime is gonna be one, two, three, four units to the left. And I probably should continue out my tick marks, negative seven. Negative seven comma, hmm, the Y's don't change. 
let's do C next. C is one, two, three, four, five units to the right of the line of reflection for number two. So let's go one, two, three, four, five units to the left. C prime is at negative eight, one. Oh, look at that, the Y didn't change. And then finally, let's be very careful. B is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units to the right. So B prime is going to be eight units to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, negative 10, and negative 11. So negative 11, comma, two. Now, does this look like that figure? <laughs> Looks like I shrunk it a little bit, but I didn't. I did not shrink it. I just reflected it, and I am not an artist. So, uh, does this look like that triangle reflected? B was pointing out this way, and B is pointing out that way in the reflection, pointing away from the mirror. Uh, you can go ahead and double check uh, any of these uh, points and their distance from the mirror, x equals three, the line of ref reflection, x equals three. For instance, let's do b and b prime again. b was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units to the right. So b prime needs to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units to the left. All right. Okay, let's talk about some horizontals. Y equals, uh oh. Go. Y equals three. I hope that comes out. Y equals three. So where is our mirror? It's at Y equals three. Now, if this gets, this graph gets too messy, I will redo it. But I think we can do it if we're nice and color coded. And honestly, at any point, if your graph, if you're using one color, just one pencil, for instance, gets too cluttered, pause, do another graph. Okay. All right. Oh, I wrote that down wrong. Of course I wrote that down wrong. I'm Mr. Mitchell. I make mistakes. Good thing I checked my work. It isn't at y equals three. This definitely did get messy. It's at y equals two. That's what happens when you look really quickly and you are distracted. All right. So we are talking about this line right here. Y equals two. So, oh wait, so A is on top by one. So A prime needs to be down one. A prime is at one, one, not one, three. Huh, so Y changed. Doo -doo, let's see, oh, B, B is on it. B is on the line of reflection. So B prime is on the line of reflection. So B prime is the same, five comma two. Now finally C. C is one unit below. So C prime is gonna be one unit above. And does it look like we took that blue triangle and rotated it around Y equals two? Yeah, it does. Okay, it's messy, sorry. But it does, it looks like that. What did I, well, with C prime is at two, three, just to be accurate. All right, now this one will be a little bit farther away. At Y equals negative one is our next line of reflection mirror, for instance. Okay, number four in green is y equals one. Let's not forget we're talking about the blue A triangle A, B, C. All right, y equals negative one. Again, getting a little uh, loose with my attention to details here. So A is how many units above this line? One, two, three, four. So we gotta do four units below this line. One, two, three, and four is A prime. Notice that. The X's didn't change. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Looks like it's at one comma negative five. 
B prime is, here's my, remember, sorry. Actually, I'll pause while my dog goes crazy. Or not, because I'm back. Was I gone? I don't know. Hopefully the dog doesn't interrupt us again. Okay, apologize. Where were we? B prime, right? Okay, where is B to Y equals negative one, that line of reflection? One, two, three on top. So let's go three on the bottom. One, two, and three. B prime, what is it? It's five, negative four. And then finally C, remember we're doing, talking about the blue triangle here. How far above the line of reflection is it? It is one, two boxes above the line of reflection. So let's go two boxes or units down. And here we go. And doesn't it look like this is the triangle? Notice the X's didn't change, but this is the triangle reflected over that line. And C prime, by the way, is at two, negative three, okay? All right, again, you need to stay neat. And if this was too messy for you, then I apologize. However, you have the, uh, the textbook and the ability to pause, rewind, or even look at the examples from Big Ideas Student Dynamic ebook. There will be one more video for page 183. See you then.